guys, The Accountant is directed by Gavin O'Connor, starring Ben Affleck, Anna Kendrick, John Bernthal, J.K. Simmons, Jeffrey Tambor, and John Lithgow. The film is about Christian Wolf, who is an accountant, and he basically has uses a small CPA building in a really, really small town to make his life easy for being a freelancing accountant. And he takes on all these difficult um, criminal organizations, and he's got a treasury guy on his tail, and he's got to learn to start being more legitimate and instead of being so much off the books. And as the government gets closer and closer to picking up his trail, the body count starts to arise. That's the shitty synopsis off of IMDb. Guys, the first time I seen The Accountant was back in 2016. Riding off the heels of Batman vs Superman, I enjoyed Affleck's performance as the Cape Crusader, and I just gotta say, I saw the first trailer for The Accountant, and I was really already intrigued. I loved the cast already, and I was like, this looks really good. Expectations got a little bit lower as soon as I heard the critic reviews and stuff like that, especially on Rotten Tomatoes, getting a 53. And I went into the film on a Friday night and I was blown away. I, there's nothing that I can really say negatively about this film. The film's got a beautiful score. It is shot beautifully. The pacing of the film being two hours is perfect. It's a chef's kiss. And one of the things I wanted is I wanted the film to be more longer at times too. I think the character of Christian Wolf, played by Affleck, is a really unique character. A character that deals with the disability of autism and how smart he really is with numbers and the, thing, the way he handles certain situations and anything like that. His triggers, his um, problem. One of the things is really unique is if he doesn't finish a project or if he doesn't finish something, he he loses it and he flips out and it's a big mental trigger and seeing these unique things Affleck gives a phenomenal performance doing it as well I have to say too without a doubt throughout the whole film you really feel for Christian as a character and as a person and you really resonate with someone going through disabilities like this in real life and you feel bad for them and they Listen, Gavin O'Connor, like I said, he made Warrior, he made this film, and The Way Back, and he's three for three for me for right now. I, he's He knows how to direct a film. He really does. But I have to also say, let's talk about the bond between Affleck's character, Christian, and his brother, Braxton. Brother Braxton played by John Bernthal throughout the movie, and their bond when they're younger compared to when they're older is still exactly there. I love their two chemi the chemistry between Affleck and Bernthal is awesome. I love it. Um I, I just it, it's something that just lights up and like it just it feels completely natural and that's something that I really admire. The rest of the supporting cast, JK Simmons, Anna Kendrick, uh Cynthia Robinson, Jeffrey Tambor and John Lithgow, they're all great in the film as well. Um I love JK Simmons. I love seeing him in anything. Anna Kendrick, she's always been hit or miss for me as an actress. I I nothing I got against her, but in this role she was really really well done. The action and the sound effects, the sound design and the score in this mu this movie is crazy. The gunshots, the the gunplay, the fight sequences, it's all fucking beautiful and it's greatly choreographed and shot beautifully. Like I said, um throughout the film there's certain little things that Affleck's character does like this is one of the things he does. He when he uh, makes dinner, he separates all this food together and he picks at it. He's got only three pieces of silverware. He has a full setup of guns and stuff like that throughout his house and his RV that he, his mobile home that he usually travels through. All these unique things. They were setting up something really cool in 2016 and I was so pissed off that we never got a sequel. But the good news is we're finally getting a sequel for The Accountant and I cannot wait. It's got Gavin, Re Gavin O'Connor returning as the director and starring Affleck and John Berthold. We have no idea really what the premise is of the film. I'm just very excited because this is one of those films that was an underrated film, 100%. I loved everything about The Accountant. I've actually, no joke, I started watching it once at Easter, and I watched it again a second time right after that. I fucking love the movie. I really do. I think it's a great movie. But guys, I have to give The Accountant in 2016 a 10 out of 10. I think it deserves it. It's a great film. If you guys have never seen it, a great Affleck film, great Gavin O'Connor film, go watch it. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.